Coming to the next question is a 40 year old female presented with a lesion in the thigh. So what is this pattern of arrangement? This is called organoid pattern, right? Then see this is a what type of this pattern of arrangement we call it as? First, anybody? What is this pattern of arrangement? This is called alveolar pattern. The tumor cells are loosely in the center, right? They're discohesive in the center. So this is called alveolar pattern, pseudo-alveolar pattern. And this is a vessel which was infiltrated by this tumor cells. So there is a vascular invasion. And this tumor cells came positive for TFE3. And there is lots of uh, eosinophilic material in the cytoplasm. And this eosinophilic material was positive for pass, but it is a diastase resistant. Means if it is diastase sensitive, we would have thought it is of glycogen. Correct? But it is not. So what is this material? So the answer was alveolar soft part sarcoma. Let's see. So it's also, I don't know the cell of origin for this tumor. This occurs in the extremities and slow growing. Here the tumor cells are arranged in nest, alveolar pattern and organite pattern. They are separated by nice vasculature. If you see properly, there is nice blood vessels, right? Which are separating this tumor. Okay. Then you will have a, uh, how the tumor cells are there? They are in the polygonal uh, shape with a well-defined borders and eosinophilic granular cytoplasm with vesicular nucleus and prominent nucleoli. So there is some uh, rhomboid crystals were there which were positive for pass and resistant for your diastase. So this has ASPCR1 and TFE3 fusion. Let's see what are those. Okay, see, again, always the tumor morphology, like how we look, is defined by the genes, correct? Again, I will tell you, are these tumor cells are showing any nuclear pleomorphism or they are same looking? First, are they same looking or they have nuclear pleomorphism? Ma'am, pleomorphism, pleomorphism present. Present. Ah. Please, you read the definition of pleomorphism. Pleomorphism means one cell will be small, one cell will be big. Every cell will be different. Are they cells different looking, you tell me? Seriously, we are they cells different looking? Say not so much different. Yeah, that's the thing. Not no, so they are monotonous. So that means which type of sarcoma? It is some translocation associated sarcomas, right? So see the beauty. All these tumor cells have nice vasculature. If you see, right, they are separated by this nice fibrovascular septa. Why? Yeah. See, it has to do with something. What is ASPSCR? It's the same name, alveolar. A stands for alveolar, soft part. S for soft, P for part. S for sarcoma. CR means chromosome region 1. This is located in chromosome number 17. So, this will code for your ASPCR protein. So, normally it has role in glucose metabolism. Whereas now coming to TFE3, which is located on chromosome number X. The full form is transcription factor 3. Okay. It encodes for the TFE3 protein. So what is the normal role? It has a role in glucose, lipid metabolism, autophagy and lysosomal biogenesis. Okay. When they fuse, they give rise to one chimeric gene. That gene will code for the chimeric protein. This protein will upregulate what? Angiogenesis. That's why this tumor is rich in what? Tumor has what? It is rich in what? Here what is there? Tumor is rich in what? If you have more angiogenesis, what you will see? More blood vessels. Yeah, you will see lots of blood vessels. Correct? Good. Then, one more. See here, lots of mitochondrial biogenesis. That means, where do you see mitochondria in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus? Where is your mitochondria present? In a normal cell. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Yeah. yeah, correct. So whenever you have lots of ribosomes, mitochondria, it will be present in the cytoplasm. How the cytoplasm will look? It will look eosinophilic or it will look clear or, or it will look blue. Which color it will, it will look? Eosinophilic. eosinophilic. Yeah, very good. It will look eosinophilic. Eosinophilic because of presence yeah. of mitochondria. Correct, hmm. correct. 
So that's why remember, whenever you uh, deal with any TFE3 associated tumors, like you have RCC, if you remember, there also you see lots of alveolar pattern, rich blood vessels, and you see lots of eosinophilic cytoplasm. So that is how the molecular plays a role. If you understand the molecular, the pathology is very interesting. Otherwise, you'll just buy heart and vomit. Okay. So now what the scientists did is see, we did a pass. So what I told, it is pass positive, but it is diastase resistant. Means it is not a glucose, a glycogen, right? That is what I meant to tell. This is not glyco glycogen. So they went and did electron microscopy. What is this eosinophilic, eosinophilic cytoplasm we are seeing in allular soft part sarcoma? What are these? And the, then they did a electron microscopy. They found out some rhomboid crystals. So then they saw, what are these made up of? Then they saw they are made up of MCT1 and CD147. So what are this exactly? So MCT1 is a monocarboxyl transporter. It is just a transporter which is present in our cell membrane. We have lots of ion channels, transporters present in our cell membrane, right? Like that, we have a MCT and CD117, which transports normally a pyruvate and lactate. So now tell me in which cell of your body uses lots of lactate and pyruvate. It is not dependent on glucose. That means if it if it not get glucose, that cell will die and you will die. So if the cell has to be working 24 into 7 from the day you are born. Which cell it is? Cardiac. Cardiac. And skeletal muscle. Am I correct? So there is a proposed hypothesis that the cell of origin for alveolar soft part sarcoma can be a skeletal muscle or a cardiac muscle. But they don't express those markers on IHC, right? So that's why it is controversial. So see, everything has so beauty. That's how you should study. Okay, so what are those eosinophilic material you see in alveolar soft part sarcoma? Though it's a pass positive diastase resistant, it is aggregates of your MCT and CD147. Okay, so that was about your alveolar soft part sarcoma. It's done. So now a little bit pressure about TFE3 gene. So which is located on your chromosome number XP11.23. So you have a family called as mid family. Like a parent is there. They have four kids. One is MI, TF, TFEB, TFEC and TFE3. So one of the kids is your TFE3. So what does it do normally? It has a role in some immunity, allergies, osteoclast development and metabolic regulator like glucose pathway, lipid pathways, those we just discussed. So normally this fellow will be present in the cytoplasm. Then how we are getting IHC as a nuclear marker because whenever there will be a stress or there is in this tumor there was a translocation. So that time this TFE3 will go to the nucleus. So that's why TFE3 is a nuclear marker. Normally, it, it will not be there in the nucleus. It will be there in the cytoplasm. Okay. Once either it will go due to some translocation or whenever your cell is stressed and starved, it will go to the nucleus so that it will promote the autophagy. Now you are not eating anything. Nothing is there in the home to eat. So what I will do? I will eat my own self. Na? I will eat whatever unnecessary stuff I will eat. That is autophagy. So it will go to the nucleus and activate autophagy and lysosomal activity and regulate the metabolism. That is normal. So what are the different tumors associated with TFE3? Just now we discussed alveolar soft part sarcoma, spicomas, epithelioid hemangioendotheliomas, your RCCs and ossifying fibromyxoid tumor, malignant chondroid syringoma. So these are the entities where you see a transfusion means Translocation, so there will be IHC positive. But there are other tumors where there will be no translocation with this TFE3 gene. But still, uh, the tumor uh, will be positive for TFE3. That is your uh, pseudopapillary neoplasm of pancreas, ovarian, sclerosing stromal tumor, granular cell tumor, adenoid cortical carcinomas. So this you should be aware of. So now coming to the differential diagnosis of your alveolar soft part sarcoma. So your close differential will be RCC, whereas RCCs will be positive for Pax8. And paraganglioma, see the tumor cells arranged in organoid pattern. So you get confused with paraganglioma. 
So paraganglioma will be positive for your neuroendocrine markers that is synapto, chromogranin, and you have that sustained nut cells which will be positive for S100. Granular cell tumor will be positive for your S100. So there is one MCQ. A metastasis to which of the following locations is common with your alveolar soft part sarcoma than any other soft tissue sarcomas, that is brain. 